Um, a few weeks ago, I had um, come up with this way of detecting Terraform drift using GitHub Actions. Um, and this is essentially the YAML file that did that. Um, it basically, um, you just add a YAML file in the workflows directory um, and of the repo, and it uh, starts an Ubuntu runner and has a few steps, just install Terraform, run init, and then run the plan. If the Terraform plan fails for any reason, which that means it the state file doesn't um, match the what the the API comes back saying exists in reality, then it will fail. Um, and this has been running daily for a few weeks. And yesterday we got a message saying that uh, it failed. And I thought we would just walk through um, why and what the resolution was. Uh, if we go over here, we choose. This is the email I received. Um, it basically said, this is the repo, this failed, um, and we can go and look at what failed. If we click on the plan here, it jumps right to the step that failed, which was running the plan. And you see um, this route table resource, um, uh, each one of them, the campus one, the common one, the management one, and the private one, uh, all had an arn attribute added to it. And I know nothing's really changed in the environment, so I was my first guess here was to maybe something changed with one of the included uh, uh, providers. And so I checked, and it's actually running uh, 3.15. So I went back and I looked at um, the previous ones, which you can see were all succeeding. And uh, I looked at what it, the day before what it ran, and uh, here in init it was running three one four one. Oh, so yeah, it, that is something that changed. So um, I decided um, we could go ahead and uh, basically search for uh, Terraform AWS provider changer change log. Boom. Uh, and indeed, if we look down here, the first entry, as it happens to be in the uh, changelog for that version, is transit gateway route table add arm attribute. Bingo, we found the problem. So now, do what do we do? Um, so now what do we do about it? Um, what I did is I went into Terraform Cloud and I um, ran another run. Uh, to, and I knew what the problem was, so I commented it there. And here's the plan. It basically is saying, yes, I'm going to add an ARN to each of these resources. And when I did the apply, it did it applied that. Um, and you can see here if you, in the state, uh, if you look at the state diff here, um, you can see it, it added uh, those ARNs to the Terraform run. So now in the future, uh, we shouldn't have any errors with that. And um, this will also detect if somebody goes into the console and makes a manual change or something like that. Um, and uh, we, we would see that drift uh, detection because it wouldn't match up with the state file. So um, just a quick thing, I thought I would share it with you all just to show you in real life how that works. And I hope um, maybe we can use this pattern elsewhere to uh, easily detect drift uh, in our um, Terraform configs.